So, so you're developing this technology for a, a year. Now, first of all, what's the innovation in the technology that you guys basically created during that year? What we created was what we call virtual production, where we were able to create a production situation where Jim can work in a virtual world, where he could pick up a camera. It's not a real camera, but when he looked at the actor in front of him, he didn't see them. He saw their CGI character. And when he moved the camera around this barren space we were in, he saw the world of Pandora. So he was able to film the movie as if he were on Pandora. And okay. uh, most importantly, on top of that, we did an image-based process for the facial capture. Shows before us had put markers on actors' faces, right. which limited how much you could get. We actually had our performers wear a camera, and that camera stayed with them. And we interpreted and that image. And did they find it difficult to work with the camera there? Was that something they had to get used to? You know, it's like wearing a pair of glasses. Okay. Once it's there, it's out of their eye line. It's down low. It always stays there. You know, if you think about it, we don't, we don't look down with our eyes. We move our head down. So it yeah. wasn't obtrusive for them. And we photographed their face. And then Weta Digital interpreted their facial performance on a frame-by-frame, -frame, almost poor-by-poor -poor level to drive a higher fidelity performance. That's, so, okay. so Weta Digital for, became the largest computing power in the southern hemisphere. They had 10,000 quad processing machines rendering out our shots. Okay. All right. So, so just so people really understand what was happening. So in, in a normal situation, like let's say that he was actually going out and filming in a forest, right? right. He would have an actual camera. He would, there would be a monitor. Uh, as they were shooting. And you would capture that to film or to tape. Right, and, and, and you're looking on the monitor and you're sort of seeing what's in front of you. Right. right. In your situation, you're on a sound stage. Right. The sound stage is empty except for blocks, right? So there's things that sort of are representing a mountain and or something. Anything the or cast had to interact with, we gave them something to interact with. So, but, but it might, like if they're. It in, was grayscale, it wasn't colored. Right. And so you've got this camera, but the camera is not so much recording what it's seeing as just saying what, what sort of angle it's, it's viewing things It's a view. From, correct? It's a video game. Jim's playing a live video game. He's there. We're not recording anything. We're capturing ones and zeros. So he holds up this monitor. This thing which is just telling you viewpoint. That's right. And it right? says what that angle, I'm facing this way. And he would have little joysticks. Make, make zoom in, zoom out, like, and it would just tell the computer to zoom in and zoom out, and the computer would know this is the view. And as you move the camera, the, the system says, oh, the view is changing, you're now looking in another direction, Pr present something else on the monitor. Okay, and then somewhere in the digital world, there's sort of this 360 fully rendered, or, or somewhat fully rendered, because I'm sure you had to clean it up, um, uh, world, which is wherever they happen to be. So if they were at the Tree of Life, that would That's sort right. of be that. And then as he was swinging around, he it would, would be telling that. you where you were looking in this 360 world. So when you look at a monitor, now, while you're only, if you're using your eyes, you're seeing a sound stage. When you're looking at the monitor, you're seeing the actual. That's right. So we, we instead Isn't of that crazy, yeah. instead of having a construction crew with hammers and woods and nails, our construction crew is a group of talented digital artists. And they would build our sets digitally. And this camera allowed us to see those sets digitally. Okay, so in a normal film production, where you're actually shooting what you see, you're shooting the real world. Right. Um, you know, where you don't have this much digital work, you might have a little bit of digital cleanup, but, mm -hmm. but not. How many people, you know, are, do you have employ as the crew? When we're on a, a live action set, you'll have more than 100 people. And you had... When we're on a capture set, we'll maybe have 15 people on our capture set. That's not to say we don't have a, a construction crew because behind you, so the scenes. So you don't have lighting? You don't we don't have a director rigging. of photography. We don't have a, a gaffer. We don't have electricians or grips. All of that is handled within the computer. Okay, so it's literally just like one guy with a camera and your actors. There are days after we would capture the performances. Because once you have the performances, you can then play them back. We right. would do all of our camera coverage, all of the shots without the cast being there. So people would come visit the set, and there you would have Jim Cameron alone on the stage with a camera, playing back a performance that might have been captured three months ago, getting coverage on Sigourney Weaver.